In this video, we're going to look at the area of a triangle and we're going to solve some problems where you're given the area of the triangle and you're not given one of the lengths and you need to work out that length. Please start by doing these five questions. Pause the video while you do that. Press play once you're ready. You should have now worked out the area of each of these triangles, all units in centimetres. So please mark your work now. So for the first one, we have the base times the height, which is eight times six. And then we need to divide that by two. So that will be eight times six over two, which is 48 over two, which is 24. And the units for area are what? So you answer to the video. The units for area are centimeters squared. Please remember all of the problems in this video, do not use the calculator. Let's do the next one. So we need to do the base times the height. So the base is 12 and the height is 3.1. So we do the base times the height divided by two. So what is 12 times 3.1? Well, you're not using a calculator, so you might use Gelosia. So let's quickly do that. So we have 12 times 3.1. Do the times tables with me. Two times three, six. Two times one, two. One times three, three. And one times one, one. Then we add the diagonals, two, seven, three, zero. And then we need to put the decimal point. So the decimal point is here and here, and they meet here. So the decimal point goes there. So that's 37.2 over two. Again, you're not using a calculator, so you might use the bus stop method. So 37.2 over 2, 2 into 3 is 1 remainder 1, 2 into 17 is 8 remainder 1, put the decimal point, 2 into 12 is 6, so the answer is 18.6. What are the units for area? Say your answer to the video. You should have said centimeters squared. Let's move on to question C now. So the base is 10 and the height is 3.7. So we're going to do 10 times 3.7 over 2. Well, 10 times 3.7 we can do just by moving all of the digits one place value to the left. So 10 times 3.7 is 37. So we have 37 over 2. And 36 over 2 is, is 18. What's 38 over 2? Do that in your head. So your answer to the video. 38 divided by 2 is? You should have said 19. So 36 over 2 is 18. 38 over 2 is 19. So 37 over 2 is exactly halfway between. It's 18.5 centimetres squared. For question D, again, we're going to do half uh, the base times the height divided by 2. So what is the base of this triangle here? What is the base of this triangle here? Say your answer to the video. You should have said that the base is 5. And what is the height of this triangle here? Say your answer to the video. You should have said that the height is 5.5. So we're going to do 5 times 5.5 over 2. So 5 times 5.5, so I'll do that quickly with a quick gelosia. So 5.5, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 5 is 25, so 5, 7, 2. And the decimal point goes here, so 27.5. And 27.5 over 2, I can use the bus stop method. 27.5, put the decimal point. 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 7 is 3 remainder 1, and 2 into 15 is 7 remainder 1, and a 0. 2 into 10 is 5, so it's 13.75. So not just is this good practice for working out areas of triangles, it's also good practice for your multiplication and your division. Finally, question E. What is the base of this triangle? Say your answer to the video now. So the base of this triangle is three. What is the height of this triangle? Say your answer to the video now. The height of this triangle is five. So we're going to do three times five over two. Three times five is what? 15, so 15 over two. And what's 15 divided by two? Say your answer to the video. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 or 
Remember, the units are centimetres squared. So now that we've gone over how to find the area of a triangle, we're going to look at what if I give you the area and you need to find a length. For all of these questions that we're going to do, you are not to use a calculator. No calculators at all. If you want to do multiplication, use Gelosia. If you want to do division, use the bus stop method. So we're going to start with this example, which I'm going to do fully by myself. Please pause the video to read the question. Have a go if you want. Press play once you're ready. So you should have now read this question. I'm now going to do this question fully by myself. So I know that the area is 24 centimetres squared. And I know that the area is base times height divided by two. This is the base, this is the height. So I know that when I do eight times something divided by two, my answer is going to be 24. So when I do eight times something divided by two, my answer is going to be 24. So to work out what that something is, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 24 by two. Because if eight times something divided by two is 24, that means that eight times something will be 24 times two, which is 48. Let me just explain that. So imagine if I write um, 15, divided by five is three. How could I rewrite that as 15 equals something? What would go on this side? Say your answer to the video now. You should have said three times five. So let me just highlight a few things. So 15, and there's the 15. Here's five. And here's five. And finally, here's three, and here's three. So notice 15 divided by five is three, that means 15 equals three times five. So that's obviously true because you know your divisions and multiplications. Let's just look at what I did with the triangle problem to show you how it's the same thing. So I said eight times this, eight times this. In pink, I'm going to do the, the two over here. And in green, I'm going to do the 24 over here. You can ignore the equals 48 for now. I just want you to look at what's in this box over here. And I want you to see how it matches exactly with what I've put over here. Pause the video just to take a look at that. Press play once you've looked at it in detail. So you should have now looked at how these things match. So in each one, I have something, let's call that something A, over B equals C. So here I have 15 over 5 equals 3. And what that means is that thing A at the top equals the other two things times by each other. So in this case, we have this thing A equals this thing C times this thing B. And I've applied exactly the same logic to my triangle problem. If this thing over this thing is this thing, then this thing must be this thing times this thing. So now the problem is a lot easier to solve because now I know that eight times something is 24 times two. What is 24 times two? Say your answer to the video. 24 times two is 48. And then if eight times something is 48, that something is going to be 48 divided by eight, which you should know is, say your answer to the video, So 48 divided by eight is six, and we need to include the units. What will be the units for length here? Say your answer to the video. The units for length are centimeters. There's a lot to this problem. We've used the area of a triangle, but we've also had to think about the relationships between multiplications and divisions. We actually did it again over here at the bottom. Have a look. I'm saying that 48, divided by eight equals question mark is the same as writing that question mark times eight equals 48. And again, that should match with what I put in here. So these are just the relationships between division and multiplication. I'll do one more. So for example, let's say 
seven times six is what? You should have said 42. That means that six is 42 over seven and also seven equals what? You do this one, say your answer to the video. Seven would also be 42 over six. So I did quite a lot there. So I'm just going to review what I did and then do another example. So what I did is I said the area is 24 and that must be base times height divided by two. So I then multiplied the area by two. So I then had base times height equals 48. And I knew that the base was eight. So eight times something is 48. So the answer is six. I'm going to do another full example for you to watch. Pause the video to read this question. Press play once you're ready. You should have now read this question. I'm going to go through it. So I'm going to go through it all in one go so it's very, very clear. So I know that the area of a triangle is base times height over two. So in this question, my base is question mark. My height is 3.7. So the base times the height over two will be the area, which is 18.5. I first multiply by two. So I get that the base times the height is going to be 18.5 times two. And if you work out 18.5 times 2, you're using Gelosia, you get 37. So that is the same as 37. So I therefore have something times 3.7 is 37. If something times 3.7 is 37, that means the something must be 37 divided by 3.7, which is 10, and the units will be millimetres. If you found either of these problems difficult, please go back in the video, watch the examples again. If you watch them a few times, it will become clearer. The next example we're going to do completely together. Pause the video to read this question and have a go at the question. Press play once you're ready. You should have now had a go at this question. So let's go through it together now. So firstly, what is the equation? What is the formula for the area of a triangle? Say your answer to the video. You should have said the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height over two. So base times height over two is the area. So in this triangle here, what is the base? Say your answer to the video. The base is the question mark. What is the height in this triangle? Say your answer to the video. The height is 7.2. So therefore, let's rewrite this equation with those numbers and that question mark now. So could you now say what this equation will be if we put in the numbers that we know in the question? Say your answer to the video. So you should have said, well, base times height. So that's question mark times 7.2 over 2 equals the area, which we know is 25.2. So question mark times 7.2 over 2 is 25.2. What's the next step? Say your answer to the video. The next step is to multiply 25.2 by 2. So 25.2 times 2. What is 25.2 times 2? Say your answer to the video. Well, double 25 is 50 and double 0 0.2 is 0 0.4, so it's 50.4. So we have question mark times 7.2 is 50.4. So how do we now work out the question mark? Say your answer to the video. So to work out the question mark, we need to do 50.4 divided by 7.2. Now we're not using a calculator, so we've got to use the bus stop method. So 7.2 into 50.4. Now, looking at that, that's extremely difficult because I'm dividing by a decimal. We have talked about this before. When you're dividing by a decimal, instead of dividing by the decimal, you should firstly change the division so that the number on the bottom is an integer. 
So how do we make the number on the bottom into an integer? Say your answer to the video. To make the number on the bottom into an integer, we need to times it by 10. So we're going to times this number by 10, which will make what? Say your answer to the video. It will make 72. But that means we also need to multiply this number on the top by 10 as well. What's 50.4 times 10? You should have said 504. So we need to do 504 divided by 72. Now, using the bus stop method isn't really going to work here. So I'm actually just going to have to count up in 72s. So 1 times 72 is 72. What's 2 times 72? Well, if you add another 72, you should get 144. Can you pause the video, please, to work out 3 times 72, 4 times 72, 5 times 72, etc., until you get to 504? Press play once you're ready. So you should have added another 72 to 144, and that makes 216. You should have then added another 72 to that, and that makes 288. When you add another 72, that makes 360. 6 times 72 will therefore be, if we add another 72, 432. And 7 times 72 will be 504. So therefore, 504 divided by 72 is 7. What will the units be for the length here? Say your answer to the video. The units will be metres because the area was in metres squared. I recommend that if you found these difficult, that you go back in the video and you watch all three examples again before moving on. You should now be ready to move on to do some examples yourself. Please pause the videos to do these questions completely by yourself. Press play once you're ready. You should have now done these four questions completely by yourself. Please mark your work. Pause the video while you mark your work. Press play once you're ready. You should have now marked your work. If you got all four questions right, please like and subscribe for more videos on QCGT Maths. But if you got any of these questions wrong, please carry on watching the video to see the worked solutions. So if you're still on the video, you should be ready to watch the worked solutions to see where you went wrong. So let's start with question one over here. So we know that base times height over two equals six. So let's write that down. Base times height over two equals six times both sides by two. So base times height equals 12. So therefore the base will be 12 over four, which is three millimeters. Let's do question two now. So I know that base times height over two will be the area. So the question mark times 5.8 over two will be 29. That's times by two. So the question mark times 5.8 will be 58 because 29 times two is 58. And therefore, the question mark will be 58 divided by 5.8, which is 10, and the units will be centimetres, because the area was in centimetres squared. Let's now do question three. So the base times the height divided by 2 will be the area. So the question mark times 9.4 divided by 2 is the area. That's times by 2. So the question mark times 9.4 will be 18.8 .8 divided by two, sorry, 18.8 .8 times by two, which will be 37.6 if you work it out carefully. So the question mark will be 37.6 divided by 9.4, which is the same as 376 divided by 94, I've times top and bottom by 10. 376 divided by 94, I can't use a calculator, so I'm just going to have to count up in 94s. So 1 times 94 is 94, 2 times 94 is 188, 3 times 94 will be 282, and then 3 times 94 is 376. Um, what I did there is I added 100 and minus 6 each time. So to get to add 94, I added 100 and then minus 6. 
and then I added 100 and minus 6, and I added 100 and minus 6. So that is 4, and the units will be meters because the area was given to you in meters squared. Finally, question 4. So the base is 4, and the height is question mark. The area is 25.8. So therefore, 4 times question mark over 2 equals 25.8. That's times by two, so that makes four times question mark equals 51.6. So if four times something is 51.6, the something must be 51.6 over four. Let's use the bus stop method. The number at the top goes in the bus stop. The number at the top, the number at the top, the number at the top goes in the bus stop. Four into five is one remainder one. Four into 11 is two remainder three. And four into 36 is nine make sure you include the decimal point. So the answer is 12.9 and the units will be centimeters. If you got three or four of those wrong, please get a fresh piece of paper and try all four examples again without looking at the solutions. So go back in the video to where the problems are completely without my annotations and try them all again completely by yourself. Once you're done, you've completed the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos on Key Stage 3 Maths.